Hello, ballers! What's going on? It's Preacher, and we've got some important stuff to discuss. Namely, the concordance of Legion Fall. What is that? What is that, Preacher? Well, this is your new Paragon system that's coming with the artifact weapons in 7.2. There was a large debate when I said that I wasn't ultimately surprised by the cost of the new artifact traits in 7.2 when we looked at the 50 million. And the reason I say that is... I'm almost 100%, and we have so much evidence to back this up, that the big mantra for Legion in the Wild Blizz team, I imagine there's a banner across the fucking door, is that do not let players run out of things to do in Legion. Don't let it happen. There must always be something for players to do. And Artifact Power is their answer to that, because it's a very quick easy solution of a reward to add to anything it doesn't matter it doesn't mean that what we had in the past which is they had to figure out some sort of item or decent gold reward or some sort of arbitrary currency to add to everything in order to try and find a way of encouraging players to take part in content we looked when we saw the initial looks of surama is that i loved that it had no rewards it was just a big story but many many players said i'm not fucking touching it if there's no reward for it and players don't do that so artifact power is the solution now artifact power has some problems we have no doubt about that it's very all unfriendly as we well know, even at Artifact Knowledge 25, it's still very alt friendly. And not only that, but the Paragon points, uh, which are the points that you collect after you've got your 35th trait, which for DPS classes gives like a 14.5% DPS increase, are huge. Absolutely huge. And they also scale really, really well, which means that people with lower gear get way less benefit than the guys with higher gear. And part of the problem there is that Legion's gear scaling is fucking wacky, as you've probably seen. You can get 10 item levels and your DPS goes through the roof. It's absolutely nuts what's happening right now with gear. So they're trying to fix all of these things as well as try to stop people feeling the need to do the mega grind. Now, players will always feel that need particularly if they're playing at the top end, and they rightfully think that. If we look at Nighthold now, and we look at Nighthold Mythic, we know that after, like, the third boss, those bosses are kind of tuned around everybody having 54 traits. We we carried a couple of guys who didn't have 54, and we had a tougher time for it. There's no doubt about that. The bosses are designed around the fact that people are doing all this extra damage, and it's with good reason. If they didn't design around the fact that people would have 54 traits, the bosses would be squashed, and it'd be a waste of time going there. So we know that's how happening they're trying to fix that concordance of legion fall is their current answer this is something that will be in flux okay so this artifact trait has 50 ranks <laughs> 50 ranks okay what are they trying to solve here so watcher came out and tried to explain it it's a huge post so i'll break it down for you here although obviously i'll link to the post below i suggest you read it to get the full overall design but i'll do my best to try and cover it and of course give my opinion on this as well and you're going to find some of this initially very scary but hopefully i can add a little bit of balance to it the first thing they're trying to do is make it not worth getting <laughs> generally speaking they're trying to make it so you shouldn't be chasing this and the way they're doing that is by making each rank be crazily expensive and not that powerful okay so right now it's pretty powerful even at a half percent damage increase that adds up pretty goddamn fast it adds up pretty goddamn fast to being something you really really want and makes a huge impact on your dps your tanking and your healing right so each rank of this is going to be way less impactful that's the word they're using way less impactful so it's going to be a percentage based increase but it's going to be on a primary stat okay so that's your intellect your strength right things like that uh, agility <clears throat> so instead of it being just a raw flat damage increase which uh, fixes the problem of it scaling too well with gear they're going to make it a primary stat increase and not that powerful now they've given no numbers i've been on the ptr there's nothing there yet we can't see it so what i'm saying to you is it's going to be not they're trying to make it something that you're not going to go out of your way to get they're not going to do that okay the rate at which you get the next rank is crazy high. Okay, so again, people were thinking, oh, 
surely they were going to change those 15 million numbers. And I'm saying to you, they want this to last till the end of the expansion. They absolutely don't want you to be capping AP and running out of things to do. We've already seen as more and more people, after the boost that Artifact Knowledge got in 715 have capped out main weapon are not interested in completing their other weapons they're not asked at all and are running out of things to do this is already happening on live it's actually happening now so they don't want that to happen at all what they're trying to achieve here is that you will still get ap from all the things you want to do and it's still there as something you can go and get a little bit more of if you want but it's going to be so expensive and not that beneficial that you shouldn't be thinking to yourself, I have to run a thousand more of souls, halls of valor, which will give, you know, give our arcways, which will give a lot of AP. You're not going to want to do that. That's not the way you should feel about it. And again, some players will always feel that way. And I really don't want to see people going, well, it's up to you whether you do it. You don't need to do it. It's such a childish argument. If you're competitive and it is a worth getting because it does something like 14.5% extra damage, then yeah, competitive players are going to want to get that. And you should probably understand that. <clears throat> So that's point one and two. Really, really expensive, not that important, okay? The third part he came back with is that it's going to be this primary stat increase, okay? So it's fixing out this bonus that it's not going to scale too well with gear. The important thing to take away here is point number four that he makes is that it's a proc. Yes, it's going to be a proc. So this, again, fixes the idea of it just being this flat, extremely mundane. The biggest problem I always had with the Paragon point system was that it was super boring. Super, super boring. It's now going to be a proc. So very much like you're gaining an extra trinket. Yeah, some points during the fight, this thing will proc and it will give you some intellect, some agility, some strength. That's what they're going to do to it. Again, devaluing it. <clears throat> They're trying to make it not that good, but still something that when you collect your AP, you don't feel like you've wasted your time. You're going to be able to invest your AP into it and gain more points. That's going to happen, but it's not going to be overwhelmingly good. That's what they're trying to do. It's just giving you something so they can still use AP. You can still go for AP. You can still be incentivized to go for AP, but it's not going to be something that you're driven to do. Okay, and again, that'll come down to a player-on-player -player basis. Now, having more procs does mean more RNG on top of RNG and Legion. So Legion has a lot of RNG to it, from Legos to trinkets and all that kind of thing. But it's for me, it's still nowhere near as bad as it has been in the past. Uh, I think people over over exaggerate a little bit. And I pray I play currently a very proc heavy class, very proc heavy indeed. So I'm talking from experience here. Is that yeah, I'm dealing with a lot of proc stuff and a lot of RNG, and sometimes it screws me. But what I can tell you through if we pull ourselves out which is very difficult for a lot of players to do if we pull ourselves out of our individual bubbles what we notice is that while i might have good rng and bad rng across an entire raid of people it generally works out pretty goddamn even nearly all the time it almost feels as if there's some algorithm somewhere kind of moving dps around i know that's not happening it just feels that way and the way the reason i say that is if we look at some of the major dps checks in the night hold currently such as croesus what we notice is that on some fights i might be five five minutes deep and still have like 860k dps rocking the next puller might be like 670 something like that and that's a massive difference however our wipe times as we got closer and closer to killing that boss were almost exactly the same across the entire raid the dps generally was pretty much exactly the same and problems that caused the wipes were generally due to dealing with ads or anything and things like that rather than character based rng so from that perspective i'm kind of okay with it what we will say straight away as many of my longer term listeners will know is that more rng is better for some classes than it is for others as we know there are several classes and specs in the game that can hold back on doing certain things while they wait for good rng to happen waiting for trinkets to proc waiting for legendaries to proc waiting for tier bonuses to proc things like that and then take full advantage of them while there are other specs and classes in the game who absolutely can't do that and do more consistent not really able to capitalize in a certain way and take full advantage of procs definitely an issue as, as somebody who plays a spec who can hold back on things like rune of power until things line up really nicely yeah sure a proc i'm totally fine with but there are definitely specs out there who are like well this is just completely random and can happen at totally weird times and it has nothing to do with my choices whatsoever now they've asked for feedback on that so they can tweak it again this is going to overall change 
and then figure things out. So I kind of want, that's the new system. That's what's going to happen with it. Some conclusions then. I think they're trying to hit some lofty goals here, and I think it's an admirable thing to do. I'm kind of okay with the concordance of Legion Fall. I think it's an alright solution. It fixes a lot of the big problems I have with AP. One is my feeling that I can't use my off specs because they're just not up to fucking 10% damage difference. As somebody who has more AP than most people in the game, so I have a 54 weapon and two 44 weapons, there's still a 10% damage increase that's missing on those other two specs. That's not easy to make up, especially if you haven't got like the legendaries to back it up. So right now I'm like... Even if I had the good legendaries, I'm still maybe 10% behind sometimes. That feeling isn't going to go away uh, with the current system. <clears throat> In 7.2, the extra proc bonus shouldn't be that important to the point where it is like a 10% damage difference. And therefore, I can switch my specs to off specs. And therefore, I can use my other specs relatively effectively without feeling like I'm being stupid right i think that's a good goal and this seems on the face of it from its initial push that seems to work because it's not that beneficial i currently feel somewhat of a relief uh, as i mentioned to the boys in my team it's like 7.2 we're gonna have to go ham to collect all the new traits and there still will be that time because there are plenty of new traits before we even hit the concordance of legion fall uh, to pick up but i don't feel once i hit the concordance of legion fall stuff assuming what blizzard's telling us is correct is that it's not going to be a mega bonus that it's not going to be so diminutive like it is right now is that i don't need to go ham at that point and i can passively collect ap if i feel like going a little bit extra to farm some extra ap fine but i won't feel bad about waiting till artifact knowledge 40 or whatever before i really give a shit about it they're intentionally making it almost unobtainable to farm it out some players will go for it and some will do it but they're intentionally making that way it's gonna be so expensive that it's worth waiting for higher artifact knowledge before you even bother because you're just gonna waste your time i'm kind of okay with that as somebody who's very time conscious and prefers using my time efficiently i'm okay with this i think that's absolutely fine in terms of the proc based nature of it it definitely devalues it compared to what we have now. I would be much happier, and I think we should always restate this, I would be much happier if it didn't exist, because I don't like grinding, but many people in WoW do, and I certainly don't like grinds that revolve in some sort of power. As long as they can manage to make it, and it's going to come down to what the final numbers are, as long as they can manage to make it that not farming this thing out is a really huge bonus i mean i'm looking at my intellect now i have like forty-five thousand on the ptr and this character is old compared to my one on live it'd have to be a really really small small percentage <laughs> to especially with the 50 ranks it'd have to be a really really small percentage to actually make it not really good like <laughs> really good so are we looking at maybe 0.1 percent is it going to be that small? Maybe. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, it's. I mean, it can't be 1%, can it? I mean, if it's got 50 ranks, it can't be a 50% intellect bonus. That would be crazy powerful. Crazy, crazy powerful. So I think I think we're probably looking at numbers at like 0.1% bonus. A proc of a 0.1% intellect bonus. Something probably along those lines. And if it is that, I'm kind of okay with it. I'm kind of okay with it. I think it's pretty fine. So we're going to wait and see what develops with this system. Love to see your thoughts below. Obviously, this is going to be a big deal for a lot of people. I'm sure many people are going to be instantaneous angry, uh, especially from their personal player perspective. But let me see what you've got to say. Let's get Andy's thoughts on it quick. Andy, your thoughts? Hey, it. Fair enough. Bye-bye. <laughs>